Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth. I am back again for your April 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in lovely Virgo. Um, and uh, just as a quick update, I am still doing my sex and relationships videos. Uh, those are coming out sometime in April. I'm not sure when. And um, I'm also going to be rolling out a whole new series, which is the financial focused deck. I did complete it recently. So that's exciting. Um, and I do want to send you some magic, Virgo. Um, and um, yeah, if, you're, if you would like a private reading, feel free to email me, Elizabeth Olson. 31 at gmail.com. Uh, I would like to love to get you scheduled. So let's see what you guys get uh, for the month of April. Uh, I am using my regular Shadowscapes deck. I'm just going to roll them out here and see, see what we get. Um, you know, <laughs> I think I saw some comment on how like all the Virgo videos were shit, you know, and I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but you guys really aren't starting off April very well. Not really at all. No. no. Um, I feel like the tail end of April is going to be better. Um, but during April, it feels really, really, um, there's conflict. There's going to be a lot of conflict, I feel, um, which you will overcome. It's just that there's some heavy, deep stuff here going on. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. You've got two cards. Well, three cards that link up. Um, as a little cluster of negativity, and I call it a cluster, you know, three cards is usually a cluster. Two cards to me is like a little brick, okay? Three is a cluster, three or more can be a cluster. Um, five or more is usually a wall, okay? Um, that's what I call, that's been in my, how I call it. I mean, these are my terms, okay? Nobody else, you know, says it like this. Uh, this is something I, I kind of made up here. But basically, um, it's like, you know, they, they're linking up. So it shows me that there's this negative thing happening at the beginning of April for you. So you get the tower. This is straight off the, straight out of the gate, you got the tower card, okay? And the tower card is sudden impact, okay? Sudden boom, sudden like oh my god, I can't believe that this whole time I found out such and such, or I didn't know such and such, you know. Um, this is divorce, this is breakup, this is serious stuff. Um, you know, the tower is major arcana stuff, so you know it's serious, right? Um, this is something unexpected, but I feel like if for those of you getting divorced, I feel like this divorce has been coming for a while, okay? That's the thing. Um, it's been coming probably for a long while. Um, and you knew it was coming, but you really probably hadn't faced that fact. And it probably is just like sinking in. Um, for those of you who aren't divorced and are in a partnership, you may be getting divorced, okay, or breaking up, okay. Uh, so the thing that's crossing you is, you know, these two together is not good, okay. This is not, this is heavy stuff. Um is the Eight of Swords, which is feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling like a dark cloud is kind of hanging over your head. Um, to me, this is the reason you're breaking up. Not enough freedom in the relationship, not enough um, agreements in the relationship, you know, feeling like you're damned if you do or you're damned if you don't, like it's going to suck in some way. Um, you know, it's kind of my feeling. My feeling is it's just like, um, you know, that's the main reason why you're getting this divorce, okay? Um, however, for those of you who are not in a relationship, for those of you who are single, um, the tower can be sudden realization. It can be fear and doubt, okay? And what's crossing you is feeling like, 
you know, you're stuck in a situation, um, or, you know, you, you know, maybe in a household that you don't like, maybe your circumstances, maybe you're living where you, you know, with, you know, with your mom or somebody and you don't, you don't want to be, you know, maybe you want to be out and doing your own thing and you, you don't have that freedom, you know, what you want is the freedom and you don't have it. Um, to have the dark cloud plus the tower, major storm. This is a major storm, okay? This is major um, for you Virgos. Um, for those of you who are not experiencing major storm beginning of April, um, I would go far as to say you're suffering from deep depression. This is deep, okay? And you need to see counseling and help. And um, this is where, you know, I would recommend talking to a practitioner about, um, you know, what your options are, really. Because this is not a good place to be. I feel like you are sinking very low here in April. You have to hit rock bottom. To, 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 to The tower brings about this destruction. So in a way, it is rock bottom. It's the definition of rock bottom, okay? Getting so low that there's nothing, you've hit the lowest, okay? There's no other, there's no lower than this. You can't. Um, you have to go, you have to move, you have to change, you have to do, you have to let the past go. And this is where the universe is forcing it to happen. Because I feel like Virgo, you're clinging to it and you, you ha you've resisted it for so long. To be in this negativity, to be in this space, to be in the, under this kind of depression and dark cloud, this is where you... Um, have resisted very, very a long time. You've resisted for your lifetime. Some of you for basically your entire life. You've been resisting change. Resisting um, anything that remotely looks like change. Okay? Status quo. So you've gotten to the lowest of the low and you've been to hell and now it's time to come back. You know, it's not time to to rebuild. It's time to start again. It's time to look to the future. Start to think about what you want in the future. Um, for those of you who are not experiencing um, deep depression or major breakup, this is fear and doubt. This is fear and negativity coming from the outside. Um, feeling like maybe you, you don't have the, the freedom that you would like to make your own decisions for some reason. Um, you know, maybe you're stuck, in, you know, your relationship has gotten to the point where, um, you know, you, you can't make, every little move you make causes issue. Those of you who don't have any kind of relationship, this is you feeling just stuck in life, you know, stuck in life, stuck in your life, uh, restricted in some way. Um, so... The thing that links also links up, which makes it even kind of tougher, is this conflict card. This is the distant past. This is the survival mode energy. This is survival. This is being worried about how to put food on the table. And um, this, is, this is also a negative person. Um, a bad dude can be what I call a bad dude. Somebody who's um, wrecking havoc on your life. Um, who are just who's just in a mode of negative thinking or just in a mode of neg being not necessarily the best person um, they could be okay um, they're they're making poor choices okay uh, and this links up somehow to this so you've got conflict you've got depression or a dark cloud hanging over your head and you have the tower which is sudden unexpected impact so Well, this doesn't feel good to me, okay? Uh, not at all. And in the position of emotions, you have this also feeling of being trapped. So you have, to me, they link up together. These four cards are basically all the same color, okay? And this is a cluster, but it's it, it, if it gets any bigger, it would be a wall, okay? Um... These cards right they're basically all the same color they're like all this weird yellow purple right and the devil is 
um, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, being chained to the devil, being chained to someone who has addiction problems, being chained to someone who, um, you know, your heart is in their hands, okay? That's the thing. So, so you've got those uh, cards kind of all linking up to this tough April. I feel like this is a tough, especially two April, you know, two or three weeks, you know, first, second, three, even into the third week, you may be feeling this way. Um, this is all calling for major change. This is, you've got two major arcana cards here and two um, cards that have a lot of battle, the swords, you know, this is like the civil war right now, okay? Some of you are going through civil war, basically, in your life, okay? And it's a struggle to A, break away from the devil, B, rebuild your life, C, feel positive about it, and D, you're trying to not be in conflict, okay? Um, it's very difficult for me to look at this. Let's just say, let's just say best case scenario, looking at this with more positivity. Okay. I'm going to summon all the positivity anxiety. And, and look at it through some rose-colored glasses, okay? Say, um, well, say you're single. You're in survival mode or you've been in survival mode in the past. Maybe you recently got a job because you got the spider card here. So you're working hard, you're working a lot, okay? You were in survival mode in the past, so you're working hard. And you got two work cards. You got the magician card uh, crowning you as well. Okay, so you're working, you're fighting for survival, and then you're working. Okay, let's just say that's the story. Then we've got the tower card, which is unexpected, which is maybe the light goes on in your head. This is the best case scenario. Um, that oh, I need to do. Such and such. It's just like this, this crazy big moment. You're like, oh, I can't believe this. Or, you know, for some reason, maybe you feel like you are right now in, in a kind of a negative headspace where you have a lot of fears and worries and doubts. And all that's accumulating and you don't know what to do and you feel stuck. You feel like if you make choice A, it's not going to work out. And if you make choice B, it's not going to work out. So you go, okay, well, what's the point? of making these choices. And then there's this, and emotionally, emotionally, you're tempted um, by someone else, someone else who is a bad influence on you, okay? You're tempted by that someone else to either do drugs or uh, drink or, you know, someone's just influencing you in a negative way, okay? And emotionally, you feel like you don't have the freedom to make your cho make choices in your life that you want to, okay? Um, again, you feel like it's kind of pointless. If you make choice A, it's going to suck. If you make choice B, it's going to suck. And so, you know, you're just not really trying to make any major changes. However, all this fear and doubt is bringing on major changes because that's what the cards to me really symbolize, major change, okay? And if you don't go through major change, I feel like you're going to be going through major change in the soon near future. I hate to say that, but that's kind of how I feel. Um, but that's the best case scenario, okay? Worst case scenario, like I already mentioned, it's tough stuff. It's going to be tough going for some of you, okay? Um... You need to get a helmet and get it soon, um, overnight it. That's the kind of thing you need to do. Um, and in the position of what you don't see coming, even though the tower to me is what you don't see coming, okay, um, is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is... <sighs> can be a person, can be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Leo... Um, can also be sometimes a Scorpio, 
or cancer, man, male or female, okay? Um, this is, to me, someone who's, who's driving too fast, who's, um, doesn't really have their head on straight, um, their, their horse or their lion is going in one direction and they're looking over in another. So they're distracted, okay? This, to me, I'm getting wandering eye. This person has a wandering eye, okay? So watch out for that. Um, if they don't have a wandering eye, then um, they just need to kind of um, watch where they're going, okay? Watch the direction that they're headed in. That's what they need to do. Um, now, here's the other thing. What's coming in from the outside is part of the negativity. However, it's not linked up entirely with the wall, okay, or with what I would call your little cluster, okay? But this is, this is tough as well. So all of this is going to cause you some sadness. This is going to cause you some, um, I would say some grief. Okay, some grief and loneliness, you know, feelings of loneliness and just overall a lot of waterworks. Some of you are very, very lonely. I'm getting a tingle on that. So some of you are very, very lonely. Okay. Um, and all of this is going to make you feel even lonelier. Okay, which is unfortunate, however, but that you got to look to the future. Okay, so in the future, you've got two cards, which are to me the saving grace of this whole thing. Okay which is A, in the position of your attitude, you're going to seek counsel. You're going to seek help. Whether you talk to me or whether you talk to somebody else, you need to seek help. You need to seek counsel. This is a time, to me, of great loneliness and grief, okay, and sadness. Um, this is the Hierophant. This is, I know it's kind of hard to see because my light in here is not good, but this is where the little critter goes and talks to the tree, okay? And the tree is someone like me. I always say, you know, I'm thousands of years old. Um, and that's the truth. My soul kind of is. So, but this is somebody who's kind of got to help you understand the bigger picture. That's what you need. You need to see the bigger picture. Um, and in the outcome, um, it is the strength card. And so this whole thing is going to show you how strong you are. It's going to show you and and prove to you that you can do anything. And that in the end, you're going to look back on this and you're going to say, thank God I went through that because it's going to, if I'm getting change your life for the better, okay? All this destruction will bring on the new, okay? It's kind of like a forest after it, you know, a forest fire, okay? The forest fire actually is healthy. Okay, in some cases, well, it is healthy in all cases because it fertilizes the ground. And so the next plants that come up have all these wonderful nutrients to feed off of and become really strong um, new trees So and new life. And that's kind of what you need to think about your life as. If there's anything that you need to let go of, anything that's like kind of getting torn down as far as relationships, um, you know, as far as old beliefs uh, or, or patterns and ways of doing things, or even job loss. I mean, all of this is actually good in the end because it's freeing you up to actually live a healthier life, a better life. Um, and the new you at the end of April is going to be much stronger. You're going to be stronger for it. This may seem like it's going to kill you, but it's not, okay? It's not going to kill you. It may seem very sad and lonely at the time, but you're going to feel in the end, you're going to have, you're going to have tamed the beast uh, within, okay, as well as without, okay? And the story of the, um, the maiden and the beast is he allows her to tame him because they give each other different things, okay? She gives to him her goodness and her purity of heart and all the strengths she has on the inside, okay? And he gives her the protection and physical strength that she doesn't have on the outside. So they really match up, 
okay, as being a very strong dynamic pair, okay? So, um, I feel like this could indicate a new partnership, a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend. For those of you who are going to be single, to me this indicates um, some kind of new relationship. I feel like um, it's going to be a powerful one. You're going to be a power couple, and it's going to be better than you've ever had, okay? But it's usually a sign that it's just strength. Um, it's a test of strength. This whole thing's just a test of your inner strength. Um, and I'm going to pull one last card here. And it's interesting you got this card. And this is the Judgment card. Another major arcana. So you're, Virgo, you're going through some serious stuff here, okay? And the angel, this is the angel calling, you know, sending out that call, that trumpet call of, um, of like uh, the herald, I'm getting the herald of like new beginnings, okay? This is new beginnings. So to have the strength card followed by the judgment card, it's a good sign. That means you pat, you're going to pass the test okay, to get through this and be strong in doing so, and then you're going to be able to turn the page. I feel like everybody's getting the judgment card right now in April, and I feel like that's because of the eclipse in March, and it's bringing in all this new, literally new energy, um, where everybody's getting more abundance and more, uh, and more love, and they're starting over. Everybody's kind of starting over. Um, so in order to start over, though, you need to go through the tower, you need to kind of begin again. Um, you need to let go of the old, whatever the old is in your life. I'm not trying to scare you. Some of you are not going to be breaking up. You know, some of you are not going to be getting a divorce. However, to me, the tower in my deck symbolizes those things. I feel the most highest percentage, okay? Less about fear and doubt and less about car accident, less about... Um, something happening that, you know, you weren't expecting that was traumatizing, that's just kind of minor. To me, the tower is major, you know, so it is major breakup, major upset, okay, the very least. But I think because the final card here is the judgment, means to me that your, whatever it is, your relationships, your life is going through a huge overhaul, okay, and it's, it's, it's like fully cleaning out your closet, okay, um, digging deep, okay, and throwing shit out, okay? So, uh, but the judgment is a beautiful thing. Um, it is, you know, it's, there's this beautiful meadow, and it is springtime, you know, with the butterflies, the flowers. It's feeling better, okay? So you're not going to remain in this dark place forever. You're just not. You're not going to remain at the bottom. You're going to rise to the top, and you're going to get through this. And you just need to stay focused on that. And um, don't let yourself get down for too long. Do not turn to drugs and alcohol for comfort in this time. Okay, this is not a time to do that. Um, not, that would be my suggestion. But know that uh, better times are coming. And, um, and look forward to those times. And But be in the now. Be in the present moment. Enjoy what you can in your life now. If it's negative, it feels negative and dark, you need to call some friends. You need to talk to some therapists. You need to pull it together um, emotionally. Uh, but ask for help. You know, there are people out there that would... I'm sure I'd love to talk to you. Virgos are always good conversationalists. Um, they love to communicate. So, you know, don't be a stranger, you know, to people, you know, people in your life, you know. Um, anybody who's older and wiser, talk to. That would be my, my final suggestion. So I'm going to leave you there. Uh, seems like it's going to be a little bit of a tough month, but I feel like because you got some really positive cards at the end, you're going to get through it. Um, stay strong. Um, I know that you are. And I will be back again. So stay tuned for more. And um, I'm going to send you big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.